Okay, so let's go ahead and learn about blade templating and how you can use it to make your views look a lot nicer. And it just makes looping through data and printing out data a lot easier. So I'm going to rename this home.php to home.blade.php. And I'm going to refactor some of this code. So you can see here that we have this for each customers as customer. I'm going to use some blade syntaxing and just use at for each. And I'll say customers as customer. And then we'll say at end for each. And let's go ahead and save that. Go back here and reload. And you can see that we get the exact same output. And you can see just how much nicer that that looks instead of opening PHP and closing PHP. So Blade has all these helpers that can make our code look a lot better and just make it easier to program these views. So if you go to the Laravel docs and you were to search for Blade templating, you can learn about all these helpers, all these layouts, and everything that you can do with Blade. It is super cool. I would recommend using Blade as opposed to uh, just standard PHP. Sometimes when I'm not in a Laravel application, I'm using PHP, I'm wishing that I had Blade templating. So let's go ahead and show you a little bit more about all the stuff you can do. So instead of this echo command, I can actually use a shorthand curly braces to print out the name. And I save that, go back here and reload. And it's actually saying that we don't use a semicolon once we use these brackets. So you don't have to include the semicolon, which actually looks a lot nicer, you can see. So we save that, go back here and reload, we get the exact same output. The other cool thing is that we can use layouts. So typically you don't create an HTML structure for every single page. Typically you have a layout that contains the head and the footer. So let's go ahead and just create a new file. I'm just going to call this app.blade.php. And this is going to be our layout. So you can see that the layout just contains the main HTML structure. And maybe you might even have like a navigation up here and then it will be available on every other page of your site. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I want to actually extend that layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use at extends app. And then I actually want to create a section right here. So I'm going to say section and I will just call this main. So this is going to be the main section of our application. So I'll say end section. And let me go ahead and just load this page and you'll see that there's nothing on there. And that is because we need to yield where we want this section to be. So inside of our layout, I'm going to say that I want to yield our main content. I want that to be displayed right here. So now if I save that and go back here and reload, now we get the output that we were expecting. So using blade templating, we just have all of these nice helpers and our code will look so much nicer, easier to maintain. And yeah, it's just, uh, I, like I said, again, I don't know why you would ne not want to use Blade, but you can use standard PHP if you want to. Uh, but be sure to check out the Blade documentation at laravel.com slash docs and learn all about Blade and all of the awesome stuff that you can do with it. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 Basics. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series. And I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21 day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you wanna support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io and I will see you in the next video.